He's like literally in my ship. <laughs> That's what I was worried about. I I told you, I was like, what the fuck? What if he gets in here? How do you get him out now? That's a interesting scenario. Welcome everybody to Falcon Place Duskers, episode number three of our little revisit here into Duskers and see what the updates are all about, rebalancing, etc, etc. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the series, the little revisit so far. We've already done two episodes, this will be episode number three. As I mentioned in the first and second episode, if you want to see more beyond four episodes that I'm recording here today, let me know in the comments, and by leaving a like and we'll go forward. Otherwise, we'll wrap it up after four, but at the very least, I've uh, hopefully given you a little bit of more insight into what's going on with um, Dusker since the last time we played it. And hopefully you're enjoying it as well, which is the most important thing. Right now, we have a few things to do before we jump to another galaxy, because we're done in this system over here. I want to check out the logs that we have over here collected so far, which we have not done so just yet. I think these have not been showing up because I already had them collected beforehand, so it just kind of carries over to your next run. If you're reading this, the transfer worked. Glad you're still with us. Summary of primary objectives. Gather intel logs from derelict spacecraft. Gather resources necessary for survival. Search for survivors. If you are unable to further your objectives, initiate a reset as instructed in your training. Good luck. We're not sure why, but your ship has failed to recoil. Your readings place your ship back inside the anomaly. However, we've checked your telemetry and scans are inconsistent with previous readings. We are uncertain if you are where or when you were on an issue entry. Best course of action is to proceed with exploration while we investigate possible solutions. Good luck. Alrighty, log three. Internet log accepted. Message at Biocontrol Sector 2. Apparently had Twitter back in these days, too. Uh, we, need to, we need to issue a warning to all decks then. Ensure distorted everyone is distorted. Drinking or washing. Last thing we need is a hundred sick people. Maybe thousands. Isolate the area. Blah, blah, blah. Highest levels and begin an investigation into how the hell something happened. All right. If you've, uh, number two, I just realized I should probably under these messages, order these messages. It's unlikely they'll be found in order something plot a course to intercept. If anyone is out there, blah, 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 maintain a steady course, but it's tough with these fish, with these ships drifting. Captain Gene Vogel. Uh, this is an emergency communication to any ship. Something, something receiving. Distortion adrift. All but five crew members, dead and no survivors, including myself, isolated to the main cabin room. Ship temperature regulations have been compromised and is dropping at an exponential rate. Estimated time before temperature below zero is less than 48 hours. Thrusters offline. Although smithers something... Transmit... Oh, all those transmitters and receivers are still functioning for communication. Tracking location is, you know, unreadable. We will keep our communication channel... Something respondents, maybe correspondence. Please send help. Captain J. Hanley, and then log number six. My name is Captain Jean Vogel, maybe. Transmission I received was over 20 days ago, excluding automated relays. I've. I'm overriding this log in the hopes that another survivor finds it here. It feels odd to type survivor, but I believe that's what we are. I'll be staying something. You're out there. I'll be broadcasting on a channel number, and there you go. So those are the logs that we've collected so far with um, the prior run and this one here so far. Uh, the other thing I want to do is actually go into our ship configuration, if we can get out of here first. And now that we have the remote power, we want to equip that on our spaceship. This one's a lot easier, this one's more passive. With this one, as long as you move your ship over to a docking area, it'll power up that room alone. So it's not something you have to actually command yourself. So that's all fine, let's go into the galaxy. And we have two jumps in the galaxy itself, and right now we have two over here. So we have, what is this one, Crescent and Hamtusan. Objects 5, no visits. Objects 8, no visits. I guess we'll go over here with Objects 5 and Hamtusan, and we'll make this jump. Every time you jump between systems, your propulsion fuel recharges. Note this does not apply to your reserve tank. Aw, oh, that's cool. So we're here now, rock me like a hurricane, and we have now found... That's Crescent that we saw beforehand. But we found the Clotilda with eight objects as well. All right, so for now, let's go back into our system. And this is a new area that we're at now. 203 years old, distance zero because we're right here. And then we have not visited beforehand. Let's go ahead and board. And I think we're fine with this layout. Let's board again. Any logs? No. Tequila Sunrise, Space Station B, Exploration, Crew of Eight, and 18 Scientists. Everything else is corrupted. Alrighty. So let's get underway over here. 
we have a little bit of a small inkling as to what's happening. Marvin Nathan. So we'll start off with Mouse here as per usual. Our fast dude. Turn this on. And we'll close this behind me. We have... Oh, this might be a smaller one, actually. Which isn't really bad. Um, what I could do is send Doc Dude over to A3, huh? Maybe. Oop. Remote power. We have fuel, which is good to see, actually. Remote power here, and... R4... Seems relatively safe. Okay. So the very first two big rooms are at least safe for now. Great. So let's start off by having... Nate over here just power up the entire ship itself. We'll do some gathering afterwards for our other dude, but for now... Generate, get some power. Marvin, let's have you start gathering up here some of the old scrap and fuel. Yeah, they're all... alrighty. So, next room over, we have a bunch of scrap, but obviously there could be some bad dudes in there too, so... Could be a front. Over here we found two fuel, but not any of the propulsion ones. Interesting. Well, right now we're looking for is propulsion to actually have a better chance to get to that little weird thing that we saw on the map here, at least the universe map. So, for now... I think more than likely what we're going to do is actually research... There is no... generator over here, is there? No. It appears that there is not. However, what I could do is if I want to get a little bit risky, I could jump... As a matter of fact, that might not be a bad idea. I could jump with the ship with a mouse to another dock, use stealth, and kind of check out what's in R5 and R2 that way. At least R5 would be a little bit more easier too. You know what, it's not a bad idea. Let's actually have Marvin just hang out here. Let's swap over to mouse. Let's try this out. I've never tried um, scanning with my ship alone. This could be kind of interesting. A new strategy for me to learn here, too. So, let's go ahead and dock over to A2. Dock A2. So, Mouse will be disappearing here for a while. He'll show up down over here. And mind you, there's also these doors that are powered up, so we can kind of take a little bit better perusal as well. Alright, so this will be like a <laughs> new type of tactic for me. This could blow up in my face here, but you know, we gotta investigate, do some learning here as we go along. So let's go ahead and turn on stealth. Open up this door. R5 is secure. Okay. Let's turn off stealth here for a second. So R5 is now secured. We do know that much. I want to find out about D13 afterwards, so... How I'm going to play this out right now is... How do we play this out? Maybe R2? You know what? R2 wouldn't be too bad. Because we could stick whatever's in R2, assuming there's an enemy over here, we could stick them in R5 and then forget about them. Or maybe even... Somebody just banged into a door. I forget that enemies could actually burst through doors as well. There's a certain type of enemy could do that. So just because you've closed the door doesn't mean you're safe. What? Uh, no longer responding. That could be a problem. Uh, is that because there's a critter in there? That's really bad. That's really, really bad, as a matter of fact. There could be a dude in there. I thought I told you I heard. I thought I heard something. All right, here's what we do. We're still in stealth. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. You, you go over there. Go over there. Leave. Just leave for a while. Leave for a while. Yeah, go, go check that out. Good. So homeboy here should be locked in there. Alright, so we're no longer in stealth. That's okay. I don't think they could board your ship. <laughs> my fear right now is what if I move my docking station over to A7 and he fucking shows up in here. I don't think he could get into my ship. At least I've never seen that happen, but then again, I've never tried it before. So for all I know, we'll be into a, quite a bit of a surprise here. But let's go ahead and uh, redock over to A7. And uh, we know for a fact this room is cleared up, so we could have Marvin revisit us over here and start doing some gathering. So... Marvin, you do your thing over here. Gather on. Mouse, let's move you out of here. He's not going to be in there, is he? <laughs> no, he can't be in there. That's ridiculous. Okay. 
So something's going on with D13. R5 does have an enemy for sure as well. Mind you, if I want to kill the enemy in R5, I could open up the, the, the docking door in A2, and that'll basically kill him with radiation or it'll just suck him out or whatever. But if you do that, you don't have a chance to pick up the scrap afterwards that he would normally drop from killing him. So until we decide to, you know, kill him or not, we'll leave him alive in there for a while. Uh, let's see here. So what I'm thinking we do is we want to find out what's in through D7 more than likely. So Marvin, you slow ass poke, let's get you in here and just close up this door behind you. And we'll come back to you later. Mouse. Alright dog. It's gonna be you. You and you alone. Let's open up A7 in case I have to like flee. And we'll do stealth. And we'll do D17. Alright, scrap. Another docking station here. No enemies, no enemies, no enemies, no enemies. Alright. Pretty good. Not sure what's happening in the 11, but at least there's a generator down here as well. So, R6 is going to be fine. And there's also another docking station down here too. So, let's go ahead and open up D15. D14. And let's go ahead and navigate these dudes over to me. So, we'll do 2, 3, over to R6. Alright, so you guys come down over here. And we'll plot out the next course of action. So there's a generator that we do need for Nate. So Nate, let's get you powering up this room. Alright. So R7 is now lo uh, available to us, but we don't know what's in there just yet. And there's also some scrap here to collect, so you, my friend, start doing some gathering. There's also an interface here, too. So, at the very least, we should be able to do a ship scan and find more extra scrap. There's some available. So, we'll do interface and. There's no defenses in the ship, it does seem. Alright. So, ship scan. There was an error scanning R6, which is fine because we're here already. And there's new items in R7. I'm not sure what that icon is in R7, but I guess we'll find out pretty soon. Okay. So. We're done with that one. So the way we play this out, I want to say is maybe if we dock in R7, we probably could find out what's in there without running into too much risk. Yeah. So here's the question. Was there, like, there wasn't a generator in R5, right? So how the hell do we get into D8 and D13 now that that's closed off? Because the generator in R3 didn't turn on D8, did it? I don't remember that was an option. Huh. Alrighty, well, we'll think about that here soon. Uh, Mouse, let's have you be our lord dude, obviously. Let's get you into here. And we'll redock over to A5. Alrighty, so. We're basically done other than R7, R5. Well, R5's done too. We have R7 and then the mystery beyond R5 itself, which should be R1. No, no, we're R1. R8? Yeah, maybe. Alright, so Marvin. You hang out here. We've already gathered everything here. Mouse. You are going to be the dude. What's in here? <laughs> I can't even see, unfortunately. Alrighty. We'll do a stealth. You know what? This feels like a bad idea. Just in case there's a, like an enemy in here. I feel like I'm going to be locked in here, you know? Like, I at least need to get... The other guy's out of R6, so I could run out of there in case I have to. Yeah, you know what? Before we make this happen... Because we could redock over to A1 anyway, right? So, let's get you guys up here just in case something goes really terrible. I'm just taking the necessary precautions, because... The first time I played this game, I didn't take any precautions, and that's what really kind of bit me in the ass in the long run. Now, mind you, taking your time like this is going to also cause radiation to start coming in, which is no good. But, at the same time, you kind of have to play it a bit strategic, but not, you know, take too long. So this is fine. This is now cool. Yeah, there's no way to get into the door beyond D13, because now it's ruined, and there's no power through R8. That's really interesting. Okay, well, we'll worry about that later. D17 is now going to be off, or closed off, and we should be safe over here. Let's do D15 off and D9 off, okay. And mouse, let's go into stealth. Open up A5. With my luck, there's gonna be nothing in here. Oh, I'm so glad I took that precaution. 
So glad indeed. Um. Okay. Now, here's the problem. The problem is that we know there's an enemy in R5 as well. So, the way we're going to have to play this out is that D14 is what we want to close off. We want to somehow get R7 and R5, and R7 enemy and R5 enemy to follow me. Um, to R2, and then just hook around if we can. Or maybe even D16 could be an option, too. Alrighty. This is going to be... I mean, I do have the lore. I just would rather not use the lore if we don't have to, but it might come down to it. So, we're going to stealth. We'll go through D12, and we'll go through D10. Have them follow me, and then we go into R6, and we close everything behind them. Assuming both of them follow me at the same time, which is what I'm hoping for here. So, let's try this out one more time. A5. Shit, this guy just fucking rushed me, too. He can't get in here, though, can he? Uh... He has... What the fuck? He's, like, literally in my ship. <laughs> That's what I was worried about. I, I told you, I was like, what the fuck? What if he gets in here? How do you get him out now? That's an interesting scenario. What is this even supposed to be over here? Info. We'll worry about him later. Oh, it's a vent. It's just a vent. All this for a goddamn vent that I can't do anything with. This is, uh, splendid. So we're done. We're just practically done. Alright, so here's what we do. I have a perfect way to get out of this scenario. <laughs> wow, so they can't enter your ship. This is actually really amazing information that I otherwise would have not have known had I not done that. So I'm okay with this. Um, so he's redocked over there now. We're gonna open up A2. What we want to do right now is have this asshole get out of my ship. <laughs> get out of there. I can kind of see what's happening up there. There he goes. He's out of there now, I think. Okay. So both of the enemies should be over there now. And what we're going to do is um, redock over to A5. And then we'll get in here with Mouse. <laughs> That's hilarious, though. I did not know they could get into your ship. Now we know. And no, more importantly, what's really cool about it, though, what I like about it is that you could probably sometimes use that as a way to kind of get around enemies. Get them in your ship, and then just have them dock somewhere else completely and get them out of your hair. That's an amazing way to kind of get around enemies. I like it. So we'll redock over at A1, and then we'll wrap up this mission. This was, um, you know, not as smooth as I really wanted to, but at least it was a learning experience, which is actually quite great. So we'll open this up and navigate all over to R1. Hooey. <laughs> that was something. Mind you, I could kill those guys with A2. I could open up that door and just, you know what? Just because of that bullshit situation they gave us? Oh, we can't open it because it's not powered up anymore. Okay. You guys are safe this time. I'm going to open up the doors and kill you next time, though. All right, we're done over here. Let's go ahead and exit. Relatively well. I'm okay with this. Kind of scary there for a while, but at least now we have a really important piece of information. We can move enemies with our ship. Uh, so we dropped a little bit of health there. That's okay. We have enough scrap to actually heal that up. Mouse is basically ideal for taking damage and being our dude anyway. All right, so that's done. Let's go into our drone configuration, maybe. Yeah, let's get mouse over here fixed up. No, 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 we need the other one, modifications. So we'll get a mouse over here fixed up. Um, all we need is really... Eh, 33 is all we're looking for, really. So we'll do 1, 2, and 3. Execute that. 3 scrap to get me completely just about maxed out is fine and dandy. Now, we didn't grab any sort of upgrades here with this ship. So that's unfortunate. We have remote power, which we already have equipped. So hmm, we could actually create some other ones too, but not really looking to do that. Alrighty, so what's next you're saying? Well, I think we have the the Hiawatha. And what's this one? The Shepherd. Shepherd? Rex? Um, we have Salvage A Infestation Type 2. This is going to be new to us because we've already run into number one. So I think the next ones could be the alien ones, if I'm right. Infestation Types 2. Yeah, this could be the alien ones. 189 years. 205 year assistance too. Um, regardless of which, it's going to cost us quite a few of the propulsion jumps here to make. So this will be three, and this will be two. Now, if I jump here and then over here to the Hiawatha, it'll be six. So that'll be all of our fuel jumps. If we come over here first, we can make it up to the next one here and here, which is what we want to get to. So this will be six jumps in general, or six fuel. Two, four, and six, which is kind of what we're looking for. 
So I think we make the jump over to the Hiawatha first. Yeah. Hiawatha it is. We're down to four of six, and let's go ahead and board. That's their party. I'll cry if I want to. Uh, Brendan stays behind. I think we're fine now. Let's uh, go on ahead and board the ship here. Unknown derelict. Inconclusive infestation types detected too. Hull integrity medium, so it might be a little bit of a risk for radiation. Hiawatha is a fuel depot, so we might be able to find some good fuel here. Crew of four and 42 prisoners. Oh, that's good to see. This seems like it's going to be a quite a big ship indeed. So we'll start off with Mouse over here. Open up A1. Stuff A1. R2 is kind of sizable, yeah. Generator right here already available. Great. This being open already kind of worries me, but... Scrap. Fuel. And we have some docking stations down in A2. Okay. Not bad. So, at the very least, we know that everything over here is fine. So we'll have Marvin start doing his little gathering business as per usual here. Anything on this one? No. So you start gathering over here and we'll have... Homeboy. Whose name I always obviously forget, that's why I call him Homeboy right now. Nathan, there you go, Nathan. We'll have you come over here and start generating some power into the ship itself. Alrighty. Marvin, are you, are you okay here? You picked up the fuel? Great. You got... Oh, we got one more propeller fuel. And jet fuel as well. Perfect. Um, you're not done gathering though, my friend. Alrighty. So... R5 is going to be a little bit of a mystery to us. There's a docking station there at the very least, so we could, again, do the little trip <laughs> and maybe just draw an enemy into there if we have to. It might be the best solution, although we could just go into R3 and then jump into R4. That's another solution as well. So I think what we do is um, Mouse will have you obviously be our scout here. Marvin, you come up here and close off D8. Alright, and Mouse, you are going to be the dude. The Big Lebowski. Stealth. D6. What's up in here? Aha! Critter indeed. Hey. Hey, follow me here. Follow me here. There's only a vent in here, isn't there? Yeah, there's only a vent in here. You know what? There's only a vent in there. There's no items. There's no um, scam. I mean, I walked in there. There was nothing that popped up in my scanner. So you know what I'm going to do? A4. Uh, the warning went out appear again. Yes, that's fine. I do want to open up the lock. <laughs> and we'll close it off now. If I'm right, he should be dead now. And there's not enough radiation in there to actually affect us. If I'm right. Oh my god, it actually kills him without sucking up the scrap out of here? Amazing! Before, whenever you used to do that, it would actually destroy everything in the room, and I'm pretty sure it would actually sap all the um, scrap out of the room. But now, apparently, the, the scrap does stay behind, which is great. It actually lets you use that mechanic about, you know, using the docks for as a weapon a lot easier. So that's good. Come over here and gather all. Perfect. Alrighty, next on the agenda. R4. Now, R4, I think we want to actually play that out through D9. So, Marvin, you take your ass back over here and close this door behind you. And what I could do is now redock over to A2. And then, if there's an enemy there, we could always redock to R4 afterwards. So, we're almost, this is going to be a small little ship, but that's okay. I'm pretty sure we'll find some enemies in R4, though. So, here's what I plan we do you stay over here, you stay over here. We're going to have you take a bit of a stroll into R4 right now. Let's go ahead and turn off D6 as well. Oh yeah, we want to redock over to A2, is it? A2. Alright, so my plan right now is we redock over here. If there's an enemy in R4, we lure him out and we just rush into the, st uh, into the ship and then jump back somewhere else and we lock him in here. So, stealth. D9. Oh my god, that's an uh, alien critter, all right. That is definitely an alien critter. Can you um, continue following me, please? I need you out of this room. Hey. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. What? What the fuck? 
Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> wow! I just looked at my HP. What the f... Okay. Those things hit like a ton of bricks. Wowee! I almost died. I wasn't sure, like, it, the, the stealth thing, like, normal. I guess they don't really work like the robots do. The robots seem to have, like, a path where if you open up a door, they'll eventually come through and they'll just kind of, like, you know, maneuver back and forth. Aliens are a bit more random. This guy was just hanging out there until he, like, you know, basically saw me. And then he was just like, alright, now I'm gonna fuck you up. And he did. As a matter of fact, he did. Alrighty, let's, um, jump over to... You wanna dock over to A3 now. That was a lot of damage. That's actually kind of scary. Was not expecting that to happen. Alrighty. Um, with any luck, though, he should be stuck in R3. Any luck. So here's what I propose we do. We open up A... F As a matter of fact, open up A2. He's stuck in R3 in my, in my world. So we did that. And now, we close it up. Okay? This will be to find out if he's really dead or not. Okay. So, here is the plan of attack. We open up this door. If he's still alive in there, then we better fucking run. So, stealth. A3. Yeah, we wreck. He is done. Okay. Whew. Scary, scary stuff. Stealth. Alrighty. Not bad. And then we can just have Marvin meet us up over here. There's no dangers left over. This is a lot closer than I thought it would be. Luckily, Mouse had like, you know, over 100 HP because otherwise he would have been, yeah, he would have been one shot killed. Was it like just one attack that he did or was it like more than one? It felt like it was just like one really huge like dive. Unless my game lagged or something, which I don't see that being the case, but I don't know. It just seemed like he suddenly, I don't know where, just dived, hit me and that was all she wrote. All right, so we're done over here. Now, potentially, as I mentioned, if we did kill that guy with the whole um, opening of the spaceship, let me redock over to A1. Um, if we did kill him by opening up the dock, let's find out if he left any valuables behind. Uh, no. He's no longer here. So sucking that guy out will definitely disappear if he has any drops at all. I'm not even sure if he has any drops, but I just figured. And we're done. Alright, so open up A1, navigate all into R1, and we're done. Okay, so we'll have to do a little bit of fixing up on mouse, but that's okay. At least we now know as well that, you know, aliens don't fuck around for one. Because Wu-Tang Clan ain't nothing Wu Tang Clan ain't nothing to fuck with, and apparently these aliens are the same way. We're gonna wrap it up here for today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like to support us a lot. Um, next episode will be the last one I'm recording here today. So if you want to see more beyond four episodes, let me know and I do so. Again, you can let me know by leaving a comment and a like, and uh, we will go forward from there. Otherwise, we'll wrap it up after the next one, but hopefully you've had a good time so far. I certainly have. I will catch you next time.